all these people. And it's a couple of Play a lot of notes. Have you ever stopped playing notes, man? I had, to, I had to make up for earlier. Yeah, I got a quota. Yeah, the quota, like, normally... 10,000 yeah. notes a show. <laughs> I hope someone's keeping count. We have scorekeepers in the back. Just, you know, make sure that Sean's honest. Uh, you know, we don't want one. Want to make sure that you know we can actually do that. We have the technology. We got the drum triggers. Oh yeah, we can do a drum oh, counter. We should do a note. That would be cool. That'd be awesome. Right? That'd be so cool. Like every every show, we post Sean's note count. <laughs> Although Pierre might Pierre might be playing more. Yeah, Pierre's playing a lot of notes, man. I like, yeah. We should actually make it like a contest. Wow. But but here's the question: <laughs> Who wins? The one with the most or the least notes? Yeah, boy. I'm holding it down. Okay. <laughs> so, oh yeah, Lois does for sure. So, um, last October we released our first full-length album. <laughs> there was a lot of work. Um, it was kind of our pandemic project. Uh, but we're really proud of how it turned out. And, um... The... What's that? <laughs> I can't hear you, but... Should be proud! 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 Oh, thank you! Yeah. So here's the problem. We have a very dear friend named... Uh, we have a very dear friend named Shub Saran. The word should and should to me just sound like the same word by this point, so... I, that's all I could hear. So I'll make sure that we tell Shub that... Yeah. This story's not that interesting. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, we, we put out this album, and, um, you know, in, in great part, due to that, we were able to come to Europe and, and do this tour. Yeah! Thank you guys for being here! This is so much fun! <laughs> this one uh, is called Perihelion. Oh, yeah! a fantastic guitarist uh, named Josh De La Victoria. Yeah! And um, I don't know if you guys watch the, uh, the website youtube.com, but uh, <laughs> never heard of her. <laughs> I, I did a video recently talking about some uh, electronic shenanigans we're doing on here to replace guitar in certain situations where uh, yeah. obsolete, baby! Yeah. Yeah. No more guitars. Go see. Go see later. Say I'm going Early this morning
we still got two more tunes. Um, what should we say about this next one? Well, the thing we used to say on stage, which is, is kind of funny, given the kind of band we are, is that this is our hit single. <laughs> so, uh, so, well, we, we kind of have two hit singles. Sort of. But yeah, this is our main hit single. This is like the number one chart topping uh, extravaganza. Uh, this is it chops our tart. Our, our, it top, wow. Tops our tart. English. <laughs> we can sort of speak English. <laughs> um, uh, what's the, this song? Yeah, what is the song about? <laughs> it's kind of uh, about that point in the night where it's a little bit too late, a little bit too murky and stinky. And <laughs> Things get a little weird. This is the 3 a.m. kind of song. Um, you don't want playing at 3 a.m. Uh, <laughs> I had some people say that they uh, they took acid to the song. I don't recommend. I do not recommend it. Uh, it, could get, it could get very weird. This is a song called Drunk.
proud of everybody! Hey, so I want to give a shout out to my musical brothers here. Let's hear it for Pierre and Luigi Salami on the keyboard side. And then, of course, my uh, musical duo bass player friend. <laughs> oh, that's what you think of me? <laughs> and so much more. But, um, not, not, not as much as you. <laughs> um, yeah, so, anyway, give it up for my friend Adam Neely here. <laughs> This is a tune called I Walk Alone. This is the last song on our first EP. We'd like to thank you guys for coming out. Um, we'd like to thank the computer for uh, 